A um, number of years ago, as chairman of the Senate Committee on Higher Education, uh, I held a number of hearings on campus safety. I must tell you that uh, Senator Stavisky uh, attended each and every one of those um, hearings. We also, this House, passed not once but twice a campus safety bill. Um, during the deliberations in <coughs> forming the legislation and the hearings, we heard from all parties. I can't remember uh, Council 82 um, supporting an effort like this. So I don't know, Senator Klein, what the politics um, are at this, uh, at this time to have them make a proposal or support uh, something like this. Because a centralized municipal police force tends to work. Where you have 64 campuses, it does not work in terms of the safety issue. What you are doing I think unwittingly is overriding the President's decision in formulating a safety policy with his local uh, chief and working with the central administration. In the many years that I've been here, uh, you have done one thing that um, I have not seen in many years, and that is a actual memo in opposition, piece of paper from SUNY. They don't usually do that. They usually come around and say, we oppose this bill, we oppose that bill. So what you have gotten them to do is to actually come out and so they must have some very strong feelings uh, on this particular bill. Um, the issue, the issue of cost. Well, there seems to be a disagreement, as you might suspect, from uh, State University and information from the local chiefs that if you took the local chiefs out and made Council 82 members uh, in their place uh, a captain or whatever, uh, the whole structure of that, dealing with overtime and so forth, would not have a, safe, have a savings, but would actually cost the state uh, more money. The most important thing here in the hearings that I held and the discussions that we had on the floor dealing with campus, campus safety is that when you have a system like SUNY, 64 campuses, each campus differs. Each campus, in knowing what um, requirements they need to put into effect, uh, is critically important. We talked about, you know, how do you notify students that there is a campus closed down? Well, different campuses uh, indicated strongly that they wanted to use different mechanisms, uh, whether it was texting, the sounding of a horn or other device, and on and on. So. Um, the critical uh, issue here is campus safety, student safety, and going to a SUNY commissioner to centralize this authority overrides uh, what I believe should be a campus decision with campus individuals uh, giving their input to provide safety to the students. So um, I recommend um, that this legislation uh, not pass uh, this House 
until we really take a look at the cost issue. I think the trustees deserve an opportunity to see what the structure is and how that would play out. And by not having a specific hearing on this bill and to deal with the campus safety and security uh, needs proper focus. One, one hearing or hearings dealing generically with how, how you save money uh, really doesn't cut it when we deal with the safety on campuses that you are providing in your bill. Well, I think um, it's well-intentioned in terms of the savings part. That is clearly, Senator, in dispute. It's in dispute. So uh, I, I would uh, ask that we have a no vote on this bill. Thank you, Senator Laval. Senator Klein.